Off and four turnovers for BYU in their first four possessions. Deep three, and that one's on the board. And she's an offensive X factor for me in this game. Her and Emma Calvert have to help carry some of the offensive load and really just balance it out in scoring for this BYU team. Didn't score in the Kansas game. Attempted just one three-point shot for a 57% three-point shooter. We'll watch what Smiler contributes today. Posting up on Whiting. That's the transition we're talking about, right? West Virginia is best in transition. Being able to get out and be able to get open shots like that is key. Steele and a layup from Quinterly. 34-21, yeah. um. just like that. Now Wilson for three. Back we come the other way. See, now BYU is playing West Virginia's game. That's what they're doing right now. They're playing fast, right? It's really hard to not play fast. 83%. Her goal is to be the all-time steals leader. You'd think a player's goal would be, I want the most points. I want the most that was my goal, hard too. Work goal. <laughs> that was my goal, too, right? I wanted to You did have the most points. <laughs> you just had a lot of buckets drop along with yeah. those steals, right? You know, yeah, that was... That was Jackson. You can see that they closed out a little bit short to JJ. They know that her three-point shot is not her favorite shot. So they closed out a little bit short so that she didn't drive by and get an easy bucket, and she ended up missing the shot. Gustin with a good look down low. That's what she's great at. That's why they were closing out short a little bit. Now she goes by him and he gets an easy bucket. One bit from the pressure they're feeling in this game. Free throws good. The 5'8 junior out of Norfolk, Virginia. Gets them both. 70, 73 to 64 for the Mountaineers. And here's Wolston for three. Tapped out by Gustin. That gives Gustin another double-double, but stolen away. 23rd turnover.